Thank you, Mr. Desai. Uh, I will try to stay. I will be very brief and try to stay as close as I can to the points that you have made. Uh, we all know that the Big Bang was Tunis. In there, a heavenly body, according to some, was launched into orbit, and that was the IGF. But like all last-minute compromises reached at 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, we, there were a lot of gaps regarding the continuation of the existence of the forum. This is one of the points that will come up uh, in the future. Uh, what does looking forward mean to me? Uh, it means where we want to be in the next IGF and beyond, what adjustments must be made to, its institutional, to this institutional experimentation, and what are the mechanisms of getting there? First question, can this multi-stakeholder body decide its future? My answer is, to a large extent, no. And if you look at the mechanisms that will be initiated in the UN until it reaches to the General Assembly, there are several filters. And this is something we all have to be, be careful. And I think what this body wants to be very well reflected in this process and very accurately. However, I have my doubts about that. Second question. On the basis of the first three IGFs, are there any adjustments needed? Even going into the next IGF, the answer is yes. There needs to be more funding to have a viable and predictable IGF. And up until now, I understand that there are only uh, very few contributors and there aren't any plans in the future for more contributions. So this is something that has to be addressed. Um, then part of this question relates to the decision-making process. Um, I think that there are uh, some weaknesses in the decision-making process as far as transmitting what this audience wants to what will transpire in the next IGF. So uh, some lessons can be learned from the regional and national IGF processes that can be adapted to this model here. Um, then we need uh, to bring uh, more governments into participating in this forum. The answer is, uh, if you want some of your ideas to have any bearing on policy decisions, uh, one way of doing it is through governments. And uh, it is my understanding that, uh, that some governments have lost interest. I also think that parliamentarians should be engaged in the process. They are involved in key committees in parliaments that make legislation and also influence policy. Uh, as far as uh, next year, I think that we have to adjust the agendas. We have to have a good choice of speakers. We have to prepare uh, the session a lot earlier and uh, make it more attractive to everyone.